Here's how to create this dynamic wireframe effect in Blender. Using an object of your choosing, duplicate the mesh and name the duplicate version wireframe and then bring in an empty arrow. Add a bevel modifier to the wireframe mesh, set the amount to a small number, change the limit method to none, disable clamp overlap and set the material index to 1. With the wireframe mesh still selected, add a material, change it to be transparent, tap into edit mode, select everything and hit assign to ensure it's been applied to the entire model. Add a second material, go to the shader editor, delete the principled node and bring in a texture coordinate node and set the object coordinate to a empty. Plug the texture coordinate object output into a mapping node, the mapping node output into a separate XYZ node, the Z output into a color ramp node, and finally plug the color ramp into an emission shade. Now we can see the wireframe appearing on the mesh and we can address the clipping later. Adjust the color ramp handle positions to have the white at position 0.5, add another handle and set the position to 1 and change its value to black. To remove the non-emissive parts, add in a mix shader, plug the emission into the bottom socket, bring in a transparent shader and plug it into the top socket and use the output of the color ramp to control the factorial. Finally, to add some color, add a mixed color node between the color ramp and the emission, set the blend mode to multiply and set the factor to 1, then using the color input we can customize the color. To fix the clipping we can tap into edit mode for the wireframe mesh, select everything with A, use Alt and S to scale along the normals, and while holding shift press up on the arrow key a couple of times. For a more robust and customizable solution you can check out the full tutorial on my YouTube channel.